So going back to Hunter's skull here, I forgot to include his zygomatic bone, which is his bone right here. You can see right here. And it will protect the eye and it runs along by just above the jaw there. I also forgot to mention his anthro occipital joint and that is the joint that will connect uh, his his atlas with his occipital bone um, and that's the bone that's going to be right here and that will allow him to move his head this way in the version of it in the way of a yes motion um, and then he has his atlas axis joint which will be right here and that allows him to move his head this way so hunter has seven cervical vertebrae actually all animals have seven cervical vertebrae including giraffes uh, they just have longer cervical vertebrae so you can feel the cervical vertebrae which run along his neck here and they run caudally to meet with the they run caudally to to meet with these thoracic vertebrae. And the thoracic vertebrae will start around here and he will have 13 thoracic vertebrae. So I can feel down along his spine, a thoracic vertebrae right here. And all of his thoracic vertebrae run along with the ribs and connect with the ribs here. So if I wanted to look at his ribs, I can say that this is, I can feel this 13th rib and I can move my hands up to know where the thoracic vertebrae end. If I move my hands along his ribs here, I can feel where the bone meets the cartilage and that is called the costal chondral junction. So I can feel that right here. So Hunter is going to have 13 ribs. All dogs have 13 ribs. The first nine ribs are going to be considered sternal ribs and they will meet the sternum and connect with the sternum. And then his other four ribs, three of them will be considered, they're actually all of them are considered asternal ribs. Um, and the ribs 10, 11, and 12 are going to meet just with the cartilage of the ribs uh, cranial to them and the 13th rib is going to be a fully floating rib. If I'm feeling Hunter along his sternum, I can feel his mandibular, mandib, manubrium right here. This is his manubrium right here. That's his manubrium. If I want to move my hand along his sternum here, I can feel his xiphoid process right here. This is his xiphoid process, and this is the most caudal part of his sternum where his ribs will meet. If I go back to his dorsum here, caudally to his thoracic vertebrae, which end here will be his lumbar vertebrae. Hunter has seven lumbar vertebrae. All dogs have seven lumbar ver vertebrae, and caudally to that is going to be his sacral vertebrae. He has three sacral vertebrae, and then along his tail here are his coccygeal vertebrae. If I wanted to feel Ben Hunter's uh, dorsal spinal process, the biggest dorsal spinal process is going to be along his thoracic right here. So I can feel they're standing up right here. That is his dorsal spinal process. And then I can feel his transverse spinal process all along the side here. And that concludes Hunter's vertebrae.